Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. The very miraculous concept of giving birth is beyond amazing. It's how we all got here. That concept that they teach us as kids about the birds and the bees makes quite a lot of sense for how humans come to existence. Ever thought of how large a number of birds go about it? Let's dive into the animal world and check out these flighty creatures that live in a free world of their own. Number 10. Naked Mole Rat You'd think that mole rats give birth like any other rats, right? Well, that's not the case. Mole rats are extra special and give birth like the ants. They also live in colonies, and the mole rat with the more prominence is Her Majesty the Queen. Once the Queen gives birth, she's treated with the utmost respect. After giving birth to her first litter, she can consequently give birth to many more. The Queen also releases a special poop that's eaten by other mole rats because of the special home. Ew, that's quite the education about mole rats. Number 9. Short-Eared Elephant Shrew this is going to sound quite strange, but have you ever seen a mouse with an elephant nose? Say hello to the short-eared elephant shrew which is found in South Africa and eats spiders, millipedes and earthworms. This creature has one of the shortest lifespans which is two and a half years, and to add on to it that's also a monogamous creature. Together they work hard at protecting their young ones who are born after 45 to 60 days. These young ones are born well developed and they start getting weaned after only 5 days. After 2 weeks they can leave their mothers and after another 6 weeks they're good to have babies of their own. They have some very other interesting characteristics too. They can run at a speed of 18 miles per hour and are extremely hard to catch. Number 8. Kiwi Kiwi is also another interesting species of bird found in New Zealand. They have a very unique look with long beaks and nostrils at the end to aid them in capturing and smelling prey. They lay eggs that are not in equal proportion to their bodies. The eggs are usually six times the size of the normal chicken egg. They are also flightless birds. The females lay eggs that are 20 to 25 percent of their body weight. If we were to compare this to a human, it would mean that a 120 pound woman would give birth to a 28 to 35 pound baby. It takes 30 days for the eggs to hatch and the females triple their food portion. A few days before laying the egg, there's no more space for food and the kiwi is forced to fast until the chick comes out. Number 7. Elephants Elephant moms are super moms. They carry their young ones for 23 months. The elephant's calves are 200 to 300 pounds, making the elephants the only mammal to give birth to an offspring that big. They usually give birth while standing up meaning that the little one hits the ground with a thud as a way of welcome. That said, the baby is in an amniotic fluid sac that prevents any injuries. Within an hour of being born, an elephant offspring can stand on its own. They also drink their mama's milk for close to six years, and it's been proven that elephant milk has more fat than cow milk. Elephants also give birth in the dead of the night, since it's a safer time when predators are not roaming the wild. Number 6. Frilled Shark these are animals that would not make anyone curious, especially when it comes to thinking how they entered the Earth. These sharks live way deeper in the ocean and their lives feel removed from any human activities. This breed of sharks is pretty ugly, and when you consider that many more are being born, you get that queasy feeling. They live between 600 and 4,000 feet below sea level. These are very primitive fish. Females are bigger than males and their gestation period is longer than any other animal seeing that their pregnancy goes on for almost three years. Scientists suggest this could be due to their deep sea living. They lay eggs within their bodies. These eggs emerge as egg capsules from the mom's body. They survive on the yolk for a long time and then they can survive on their own when they're born. By this time they can be at least a foot and a half long. Number 5. A possum. When you see the opossum for the first time, you'll think it's an oversized kitty cat. They're found in the Americas and are the biggest marsupial in the Americas, even though they look like rodents. They have long snouts and rat-like tails. Gestation lasts 10 to 13 days, which is incomparable to the elephant or the frilled shark. They give birth to 20 hairless offspring, and only half of them survive, given that the way the opossum only has room to accommodate 13 of them in her pouch. The babies double in size after only a week, and in another eight weeks they can double in size. The offspring develop fully when they're in their mom's pouches. After five months, they're capable of leaving their mother and fending for themselves. The opossum gives birth around February to June and might have three litters per year. They also have the most diverse diet around. They eat fruit, nuts, grass, but they also eat snakes, worms, rats, and even birds. 
they sure have an interesting palate. Number 4. Octopus Did you know that an octopus is hatched from an egg? The way their gestation season flows reads like a captivating Greek tragedy. They are semiparous and reproduce once and die soon after. The octopus has what you'd consider a penis, but it's an arm that has rows of sperm. The arm is broken off and taken by a female octopus who keeps it until she needs to fertilize her eggs. Sometimes females kill the males once they take the arm. If this doesn't happen, the males become senile and die very quickly. The females also have a similar tragic end whereby even though they are hunters, when they give birth they naturally take care of their offspring and by default starve themselves since they're not leaving their nests. This being the case, they die very soon after. They seem to self-mutilate before they die. The babies, on the other hand, grow very fast. Among some octopus, the survival rate is very low for the young ones and can be just 1%. The octopus naturally keeps eating until they die, and in so doing, the population is controlled. If this were not the case, because of their larger-than-life appetite, they would finish all the food for all the sea creatures around. Number 3. Armadillo These are excellent creatures that are quite fascinating by their own right. They're found all over America and are known for leathery shells and long claws and can be quite defensive creatures. Female armadillos gestate for up to 120 days, though some species experience delayed implantation. Impregnation occurs after courtship, and it's normal for the males to have more than one mate. Females will dig burrows where the offspring will be weaned. The young ones are not born with a hard shell. It's soft and leathery for the first few days of their life. In time, they harden and develop the armory shell. One species of the armadillo, called the banded armadillo, is known for its interesting reproductive system, where four offspring are born from one egg. For this reason, the specific armadillo is subject to a lot of research and testing. This is quite peculiar. I wonder what kind of research is being done. Number 2. Male Seahorse the most unique fact about the seahorse is that it's the males that give birth. How it works is that there's an intimate dance between the male and the female. The female lays the eggs in her pouch, which the male later fertilizes, and incubates them for 20 days. Once this happens, the male will projectile birth them. How that happens is quite out of this world. Look at that! The seahorses sure deserve the top spot. Seahorses also change color before they give birth, and guess what? They can give birth to up to 2,000 seahorses at a go. 2,000 babies are a feat. Baby seahorses are small but fully developed. This makes it possible to fend for themselves immediately. The male seahorses usually go off immediately and can mate again in days or even hours. Wow, they sure don't waste any time. Number 1. Yellowhead Jawfish the fluorescent jawfish is a sight for days. No way you'll miss its yellow head or its blue body. It's found in the Caribbean Sea and lives deep in the coral. It can grow up to 3 inches and live in groups for the company, and you can find up to 70 of them in one territory. The very interesting thing about this fish is how they come into this earth. First, it's the responsibility of the male jawfish, which uses its mouth to carry the eggs of the young ones. This is a process called mouth brooding. The male fish then turns the eggs around momentarily to improve circulation. This mechanism also makes it hard for the jawfish to feed. I bet it allows itself a few days of fasting. Once the eggs are ready to hatch, the male jawfish spews them out. Is it me or does that seem nasty? This was quite an interesting list. Turns out that not just humans can boast about an interesting birth process. Which of the ones on this list left you astounded and shocked and fascinated all in one go? Do let us know of such a disaster. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button, do share, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video. Catch up my next video.